hair from the Science Off Center team at the St. Louis Science Center with a science tool you can make at home. What you'll need is a wrapping paper tube, a little bit of wax paper, aluminum foil, any sort of tape, a rubber band, and a push pin. What we're going to make is a camera obscura, which is a way to view the sun without hurting your eyes. What we're going to do is we're going to actually send the light from the sun through a tiny little hole that we're going to make. So to prep the hole, we're going to put some tape across one end of the tube, but not blocking the middle. What I'm doing here is just putting some support so that the aluminum foil is less likely to rip. So anything like that, again, just so that it, it's a little bit sturdier, then put the aluminum foil on. Hold that into place and then we can secure that with some more tape. Great. Then we need a hole for the light to get through. You'll get the clearest picture with the littlest hole because we want everything to go through just one point if possible. So I'm going to just very carefully poke one little hole like that. Then for the other end, we're going to make a screen that we can see the sun projected from either side. So with the camera, light goes into the camera and then usually onto film. We're going to put it on the screen that we can see from either side. That's what the wax paper's for. So you just cover up the other end of the tube with the wax paper and wrap it up with a rubber band. Now, you can make camera obscures with shorter things too, like uh, oatmeal containers. Um, but for really far away things like the sun that are, that are pretty small, you can get the biggest picture if something's long. Having a wider tube won't make the picture any bigger, but it'll make it easier to spot if it's far away and you have to line it up just right. We're going to go outside and see if we can see the sun. Now that we're outside, I'm going to add this paper plate that I cut some slits into. That will just help block out the extra sun to the side so that I don't hurt my eyes. So now I'm going to look through the wax paper side and point this towards the sun so that the sun is completely blocked out and I can only see it through here. And now you can see a tiny little circle. Let's take a look. So now we can see a little circle there and that's the sun. You can see an eclipse if that were to happen or just make some observations. So try out different camera obscura tools, different size containers and such, and let us know what you find at scienceoffcenter.org.